I think the term classic has been used loosely over the last several years. We're talking about movies, music, and of course, video games. I know there's a lot of games that we can talk about that we can say like The Last of Us, Grand Theft Auto, we have like Crash Bandicoot, we have games from the Atari era that we can all say is classics, but there is no doubt that when you speak about Rockstar, one of the games that can really hold the test of time is Max Payne. Not just one, not Max Payne two, but all three in the series. That person's story, that Nor-like storytelling in the gritty city of New York, it just tells one of those captivating stories that to this day, we can still play it, it feels fresh, and you can mod the hell out of the old games and make it look very good, but it's still one of the best games to this date. Now, Max Payne is a former NYPD detective whose family was brutally murdered, and he kind of seeks justice in this like Nor kind of environment, this atmosphere in New York. It's like a Nor storytelling, and he fights against different drugs while dealing with his own struggles of alcoholism and painkillers, coping with that trauma, and he just goes crazy, becomes a vigilante, starts to fight crime scenes, who's betraying him, and unfolds so many different cases and finds out the truth behind his family's murders. Now, while dealing with these drugs, there was a mechanic in the game, which was the bullet effect, which became one of the best mechanics ever in a third person shooter, where he would dive and it would go to slow motion, and you'll just see all the crazy gritty effects that would happen after that, especially in Max Payne 3 with all the blood and gore. But today, we're gonna go ahead and play Max Payne 3 modded. We're gonna have a first person mod and a third person with John Wick. We're just gonna play out the first couple missions and see how we really enjoy this game. I think still to this day, that game is amazing. It looks great. The physics and the mechanics are beautiful. And coming off from two dark gritty kind of stories that faced in New York, he went over to Sao Paulo, Brazil, tried to work for a different family while still facing his inner demons and struggles and then more corruption had occurred. So let's go ahead, let's turn up a little bit. If you guys enjoy, please drop a comment below if you enjoy Max Payne the series or not. Hey, let's get it popping. Now, of course, we're gonna play with the John Wick mod. You see the gentleman right here, Keanu Reeves. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna play out the story, we're gonna go to new, but we're also gonna replay this mission again in first person, or we might just progress and switch over to the first person mod. We have a blood and gore mod that's already installed on here, but even the base game itself, it just runs beautiful. It plays very well, but there's one thing to note, Rockstar, even though you might drop bangers when it comes down to your story, let me just raise the volume on this bitch. Your multiplayer sucks. Their multiplayer always ass gta 5 remember what happened in the beginning max Payne 3 remember what happened in the beginning your multiplayer games that's not y'all strong suit like that's just y'all have no attributes on that area in that area that's that shit ain't it i need blue chew but let's go ahead and get this shit popping we can run it oh we can only play on hard okay free aim hard line says when aiming reticle will strongly be guided uh, no, we'll do soft lock. We'll do soft. We'll do soft. And, oh, ooh, off. He took his talents to Brazil. Oh my God. This place is great. Really comfortable. And James McCaffrey still voice acting all three games is amazing. Also in Alan Wake. I'm just going to get settled in. Time to move on. Get on with my life. Yes, absolutely. A Rockstar Studio production. <laughs> Jesus. Now, like I said, it was a long time ago. Let it go. Seriously. He's still fighting them struggles, man. He's still fighting. He brought his trauma to a whole nother country. Definitely more my style than Panama, or Hoboken, I guess. No, if I'm honest, I just got kind of bored of boozing. 
I mean, once in a while, but not all the time. You're right. It wasn't doing me any favors. Maybe I had lost my self-respect, but it's back. I'm excited. Really. I really needed a new start. I think you're right. I think I am gonna like it here. It certainly... It certainly ain't New Jersey. Shit. It's my new life, just like you said. Lived in Jersey. He was a former NYPD. Listen, if you think I can still do a job, what have I got to lose? Apart from the weight. Very funny. Ha ha. Yes, that is a fake laugh, you jerk. This dude is done. Michelle Rose. Damn, he going through it, bro. <laughs> Shit, we finally here. <laughs> he just turned into John Wick. <laughs> ah, he just turned into John Wick, my boy. Remember, they try to frame him, if I'm not mistaken, for a crime he ain't commit. Well, that's what they had paid for, so in the end, that's what they got. Say what you want about Americans, but we understand capitalism. You buy yourself a product, and you get what you pay for. And these chumps had paid for some angry gringo without the sensibilities to know right from wrong. Here I was, about to execute this poor bastard like some dime store angel of death. And I realized they were correct. I wouldn't know right from wrong if one of them was helping the poor and the other was banging my sister. Chapter one. I'd arrived in Sao Paulo a few weeks before. I was working a protection detail for the kind of people who need protection in a town like this. And what kind of town was this? One where I didn't speak the language and they didn't water down their drinks. So for now, we seem to get along just fine. Of course, that was about to change. Uh-oh. Hey, brother. Hey. How's the cocktail? It's scotch. I never mix my drinks. Well, at least not on duty. Something like that. Man, that favela is big. Yep. Nothing like the view of extreme poverty to make a penthouse cocktail party really swing. I guess they call it trickle-down economics. <laughs> That's funny. It's supposed to be a charity thing. Drink and give money. I don't know. Something for the kids. Hey, listen, man. We better look lively. This place is a nightmare. They just got cowboys running security downstairs. Something rotten in the air. That didn't mean much. There was always something rotten in the air. The family we were protecting were local celebrities, rich parasites with delusions of humanity. The kind of people who end up in glossy magazines or body bags. 
depending on how their luck runs. So where are they all? I see Rodrigo over there talking to that guy. Yeah, I don't know him. That guy next to him. He's some kind of cop. Ah, I think, I'm not sure. Serious though. Big end cop, anti-gang sort of thing. I can't remember his name. So who's this guy? That guy's a plastic surgeon or some kind of surgeon. Uh, tummy tucks and cock implants. Ha, look at Marcel. Still dances like a fool. Guess that's what a European education and a coke habit will do for Ricky Martin look alike. <laughs> that's very funny. Excuse me. I was mostly working for Rodrigo Branco, a local businessman. Built things, did some charity, had things named after him, won awards, owned things, people. One of the trophies he had won was his wife, Fabiana. She was hot and wanted to be dangerous. Some good genes trying to fight their way out of a cesspit. I think so to get kidnapped. Well, and was now at leisure to regret her good fortune. They got along as well as any rich workaholic and his younger airhead wife tend to get along. They mostly ignored each other. She spent a lot of time with his cokehead younger brother, Marcello. He was a good time guy if your idea of a good time was an expensive suit, a bottle of champagne, and nothing between the ears. The middle brother, Victor, had just walked in. He was a local politician. The guy was smoother than an oil slick on an iceberg and about as toxic. The rest of the crowd, <laughs> I didn't know, but I could imagine the types. People who know if they drink enough, they won't have to feel guilty about their good fortune. Suddenly, things turned real ugly. Felt like our hangovers arrived right on cue. There we go. Ooh, the motherfucker just turn up, bitch. And then they kidnap Fabiana. Things had gone from fine to fucked up in about a second. And now there were two idiots at the wheel. Now I'm John Wick. Let's get it popping. Them little flashes can fuck you up if you're not used to it. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. It wasn't my own safety I was concerned about trophy wife or not i'd said i would protect the girl i hoped i hadn't lost my edge along with everything it's her else. bullet time it was time to choose a nasty fall or a bullet to the head look at that motherfucking shit Look at all that. Look at all that blood, baby. Oh my God. That was we go awesome. grab, let me grab more of those. Only this time she wasn't calling for more vodka in her Cosmo. And we playing as John Wick. Let's get it popping. It might have been stupidity or drunkenness or maybe both but before i knew it i was back taking in well you know what we got to do trying to save fallen women Woo! look at that blood and gore effect oh my god it's so insane look at john wick and his dubby good Rodrigo. I don't know, man. Thanks. Somebody's gotta go find him. Está tudo sob controle agora. Wow. All right. Let's change things up a little bit. I imagine the elevator. Let's see what we could do. A firing squad of muzzles. As far as I could see it, the one thing my plan had going was that no one else would be stupid enough to pull this move. Now, first person, baby. Where is he? Oh my God! This shit right here, boy. All right, there we go. Here we go. Go here. 
Fun fact, though. I think this came out way after Red Dead, the first one. I think they worked on the shooting mechanics on this game. And this is why it's very similar. And it just feels so good, man. It feels so fucking fluid. We whack, my guy. Stop playing. Oh, shit. I done them enough favors. I didn't need to give them more of a head Look at that shit. Look at that blood and gore, yo. That's what I'm talking about. I'm loving this. And we got to hold down the bullet cam. You two, please put the green money sign on this motherfucker. It looked like they were taking him out through the basement. Maybe I still had a shot. Rodrigo was too rich a prize for them to throw away. Sure, I'd have to work hard to get him back, but I knew the bad guys would want the boss alive almost as much as I did. All right, says so take a painkiller. Anybody there? You're almost dead. Sheesh. Caught him right there. Damn, that blood and gore is insane. The control box was on the wall to the left of the gate. Wonder where they are. To search for clues. The great thing about being famous as well as rich is the bad guys know who to kidnap. Let me see. Anything else? Anything else we should look at? We found a gold gun, baby. Oh yeah. But we already examined that. Okay, okay, okay. Too late. Got him before I die, baby. Hell yeah. You know, it's funny. I kind of forgot the story, too, so. It kind of still makes it refreshing. Stay down, Mr. Bronco. Oh, 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 shit. Mr. Bronco. Catch him. Oh, look at that motherfucking blood and gore, baby. You're okay. You're okay. Yeah. Come on, get up. Come on, get up. You're okay. Come with me. Just Feels like a setup. Holy shit. Fuck. 
You did good, Max. If you say so. Don't look so good. Hey, what could be better, huh? The good guys are reunited, and the Commando Sombra are dead. I guess. So who's this guy? I don't know. Some kind of cop. Different branch of the police. Not Ufe, but uh, normal cops. I don't know about this stuff. Politics. Everywhere politics. Shit, Max, you look kind of beat up. Let's get this lot home, and then I'll, I'll get you home, too. Come on. Of course he looks beat up, man. Because it ain't him. It ain't Max. It's John Wick. Bitch. <laughs> Would you try to set up your sister? Why you look suspicious? Back home, it was time for some R&R. &R. The only way I knew how. Damn, brother. All these years, man. <laughs> and with that, I guess I was ready for bed. That is insane work. Chapter two, nothing but the second best the following Tuesday, 11.33 p.m. A couple of days later, it was back to work, ferrying the boss's broad and his dipshit of a brother out for the night so they could recover from their brush with mortality. Then again, what did I expect? These were the kind of people who went to nightclubs in helicopters. Fabiana had brought her sister along, presumably so she could show off just how rich and empty her life was. And boy, was she about to learn the meaning of rich and empty. Max! Max! I was speaking to you! Sorry, what was that? Oh, I was saying we get to do a lot of scrapes, man. <laughs> Even though this is in Brazil, it still got a Nord like storytelling vibe to it. It wasn't just him, huh, baby? Oh, yes, Marcel. I'm sure you did a lot to save everyone. You were probably worried about getting blood on your stash. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Thank you, Max. I don't know what I would do without my sister. Mmm, we'd spend even more time doing something useful. <laughs> you know she works in the favela. She's the good sister. Oh, shut up. <laughs> what did you hear, Baba? More bodies turned up, more people went missing. Well, it's horrifying. Can someone say Buzz Q? Hey. I'm just kidding, but it is a cool town, man. <laughs> hey, here we are. <laughs> Uh oh. You know, this kind of makes me miss a little bit of linear worlds or li like linear chapter selected kind of universes versus just you playing in this open world, which I'm very biased because depending, I probably wouldn't mind a Max Payne open world if it was done the right way. It's like the, it's like the Batman. A regular like humility is fucking crazy. It's a chill place to hang, you know? Do a little business, have some fun. I need it too. I've been working far too hard. Like a whore during Fleetchy Weeky, as my roommate used to say. <laughs> you like that, Max? That's pretty funny. Holy shit. Jesus Christ. All these like weird lines and flashy inverted colors is fucking me up.
Oh shit. <laughs> this kind of place made me want to puke. I needed a real drink to deal with the electronic music and the robotic people. Uh-oh. What's that? Nothing. Say, Max, you're a man of the world. What do you fucking do it, man? About what? What do you do about life? Look at me, I'm standing in a nightclub, listening to music I can't stand. I'm 5,000 miles from home, I'm armed and I'm drinking. You don't want to listen to advice from me, amigo. <laughs> oh, Max, I love you, man. You're fucking real, you know? Oh, shit. People, fuck them. People get me wrong. It's so crazy to fight inner demons in a much more lively kind of setting. Because Max Payne 1 and 2 was so dark, bro, and gritty. Thank God he has left. A minute more of his drivel and I would have had to put a bullet in him myself. It soon turned out I wasn't the only one. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Why do we continue to go to places when you know they're fucking looking for y'all? Man, there's royalty in this bitch. Ooh, let's go slow with it. Ooh, man, we're gonna shoot you a little bit. Ooh, right in the eye, right in the... A little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Pop, pop, pow! For Brazil. The doors had been chained shut. I didn't need my Portuguese for beginners phrase book to work out what was going on. The guy making the noise was the boss. He was sending them around to cut me off from the other side. Oh, we already knew the vibe. And sure enough. A few seconds later, I had some company on the dance floor. Whoop. There had to be another way out through the VIP lounge. Rich fools love a private exit. Is it not through here? Where at? Where? Let me see. If not through there, I figured this time I'd use the stairs. And let me see something with the controls, though. Let me see gameplay controls. Gamepad. It says sprint, and this is the vault roll. Okay, so that's the roll. Okay. I bet. I ain't gonna lie, I was in my duffy right there. Oh, I had to shoot him real quick. Bitch, bitch. Gotta shoot you before I die. I'll take you out before they take me out. You know what I'm saying? Let's pop that shit real quick. Let's reload. Hey, Sao Paulo's favorite bodyguard. How's it going, bro? It's not good. Some guys took Giovanna and Fabiana. What? Jesus, Max. Hey, I'm on my way. No, no, no. Stay in the chopper. We'll need a way out of here. I'll go find Got the girl. Got him. They even said they came out of the other way into the lounge. Come here. Go, go. Get up. Get up. Can't stay here. 
I need you to lock this door behind me. Get everybody else out of here. Oh, damn. Son of a bitch. You're just done. How we looking? Up that shit right here. He ain't dead. I'm about to say, damn. Right there. Ooh, you lucky. Let's go. What we got going on? The hell they were arguing about. It was time for me to add my two cents. Yeah. Come on, what we got? Still alive, at least. Oh, this crew starting to look shit. A lot like friends of the gate crashers at last week's party. These guys had some real issues with the Broncos. They were back to finish the job. I figured it was time to start doing mine. Oh shit. Oh, oh shit. Look at them bullet holes. Damn. Nobody else. Hey, listen, I ain't got that much health left. Let's go ahead and look for something right here. Yeah. Painkillers, baby. If I was going to lose the boss's wife and sister-in-law, I might as well do it medicated. They were headed for the helicopter pad. I had to get to the roof before Giovanna and Fabiana left on a one-way flight. I knew this was going to be It's so a crazy how they mixed the continued absence of a whole I decided to vista of a, of a city of a country with a dark and gritty nor like story. That's fucking amazing shit right there, bro. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. In Sao Paulo wasn't quite the paid holiday in the sun I'd been promised. At least I was getting shot at by a kind of class of psychopath. These guys weren't messing around. This place was like Baghdad with G strings. A couple of more seconds, and I'd have given some poor street cleaner a crappy start to his day. Now, I had a ride to catch. All I said. Come on, come on. Jesus, Max, I can't leave you alone for five minutes. Wow. Junked us. Same guys from the party, I think. They grabbed the girls, the, the Marcelo, but he's here now. Yeah, don't worry about me, homie. I'm just the guy paying you lots of money to protect me. Yeah, what were you drinking? Bet your ass I was. You try staying in there for five minutes sober. Oi, oh, yeah. Look, there they are. Oh, shit. Let's get it. I'm dead. No way. This is like a battle of everything. Oh shit, hurry up, bro. God damn it. That was some lucky ass shit, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Not realizing I had a fucking painkiller. Or dying so much they gave me a damn painkiller. Hold on. Now I'm going in first person, baby. Where they at? 
bitch. Oh, nah, this first person shit is fucking with me. Because I didn't adjust the field of view or nothing. No shot, bro. Shoot who? Oh, I'm about to say, what the fuck? Got him. I got a feeling somebody's gonna pop up right there. Where he at? I did, I did, I did. Who else we got? Well, who else we got? Oh, shit. I ain't gonna lie. I got so lucky right there. Oh, my God. I don't, yo, bro, I failed y'all so many fucking times. Oh, hold on. That helicopter is not moving like that. This dude Max is like that, bro. Oh! Bro, how was I supposed to know? How was that? Yo, bro. <laughs> I fucking failed so many times, bro. <coughs> oh my goodness, bro. The amount of times I failed. Clearly, somebody wanted these girls. This game became way more action packed, too. Also, Fast and Furious shit. Consisted of more than a drunk American has been and a Brazilian never was who should have paid more attention in flying school. Either way. I needed to find Giovanna before they did. All right. I remember this. Can I go through here? No, I can't. Move, bitch. What? How am I dead? Yo, bro! He's still alive? All right, we gotta be smart, man. I'm not trying to get fucked up. Hold on. Let's grab these two painkillers.
What we got? Let me see how would I do with this? Oh wait, hold on. <laughs> Bitch. Damn, I ain't gonna lie, bro. How did yo? How y'all surviving this long? Yo, they life is crazy though. That blood and gore connection hit Diffy. You ain't a, you ain't expected. Hold on. Oh shit, bitch. On Giovanna still being alive were getting worse by the second. And if Fabiana wasn't dead already, I was guessing pretty soon she'd start wishing she was. I was up for one god awful performance review. This was a mess. Where the hell was Passos? We were two failed cops failing miserably at being bodyguards. He approached everything with about as little preparation as I did. Maybe that's why we got along. Giovanna! Giovanna! Max! Over here! What's Bruh. happening? Where were you? Are you all right? What do I look all right? Uh, don't worry, we're gonna get you out of here. Passos, where is he? Is he okay? We had to make a quick detour. He's fine. He's right there. Oh my god. It's Raul! Giovanna! Oh. What are you doing? Giovanna! Ah. Nothing. Go. Seems like I wasn't the only guy around here who had taken his eye off the ball. Are you okay? My weakness was the drink. Passos was the sister. Things were turning pretty ugly in this town. The boss's girl was gone, and part of me wished I was too. Holy shit. <laughs> I switched over back to Max. So, sorry, Max. The alcoholic in you is one, and then we gotta play as Keanu when we in our Duffy. Even though I failed miserably several times. Jesus Christ! I'm just waiting for you to go bald, man. Damn. choice do we have we have never paid out ransoms before but i don't know i don't like the feeling of this what about you max i don't know uh, i'm no expert on hostage negotiations I, I know people who are but they're in america we don't have time for america i know you're right marcelo it's not like i don't have the money to pay father made a lot of money we have always been targets we all know that much as it pains me, I don't see we have a choice. Maybe after we pay, we find out who did it. We have them. But we all know what I'm saying. Who do you think is targeting your family? Haters. Who can say? 
haters. Life in this country is not easy. You can see that. I have tried to do business the right way, but that's not always possible. Of course, I made enemies, but I've also paid a lot of bribes. I have no idea. It's probably that street gang trying to get a me. I don't know. People I know have tried to reach out to this group. Commando Sombra. They're not from any of the favelas around here. They're linked to the drug business now. What have I got to do with drugs? Nothing. Everybody loves money. I just drug. want my wife back. <clears throat> we can take the money to them. Wow. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. The nosebleeds didn't like the game we were playing. The money was gone, and I was next if I didn't get off that field. The bullets came from long range. They were well armed professionals, and I was starting to feel decidedly amateur. Oh okay? shit. Yeah. All right. Let's go. There's got to be a first aid kit around here somewhere. I've been shot more times than I could remember. But this felt different. Maybe fate was sending me a message trying to tell me my luck was finally about to run out. Or maybe I just Bro, what the hell? It was bleeding out like any number of fools who got shot playing with guns. Either way, I was failing fast. Christ. At least one of us had a gun now. That raised our chances of survival all the way from nil to slim. Come on, Max, Holy go. shit. The guy with the bag must have got hit. He's bleeding all over the place. He's not the only one. Come on. I think he went this way. So this was it. My easy retirement money. My blood-stained 401k. A chance to drink for free while chaperoning socialites around town and making sure the poor people didn't get too close. The brochure sure didn't mention any of this shit. <laughs> the, the, the narrator in this game. Mr. James McCaffrey's amazing, bro. It is James McCaffrey too. Like I know I'm not bugging. Oh shit. Wait here a second. Not a problem. All the fun. <laughs> you see there, Grandpa? Come on. I'm getting flashbacks to that wedding we worked in Aruba. Yeah, back to the good old days when I thought I might actually like this job. <sighs> Dumb sport. <sighs> hey, careful, my friend. That's blasphemy in this town. Okay, bro. Never better. Whose idea was this anyway? Yeah, I wonder. It was his fucking idea. Is it bad? Max, it was your stupid ass idea, Max. Not worse. Here. Thank you. All right. 
Here we go. Put the sleeve up, come on. All right, don't be a pussy. So what now? We make sure that the right clowns get the money. Who the hell do you think that was? It tried to gate crash our little wine and cheese party. I have no idea. This is Sao Paulo, brother. Could be anyone. Uh, anyone with access to high-powered sniper rifles and trained killers. That's pretty much everyone. Great. <sighs> so what now, Einstein? Well, I guess we get these Commando Sombra their money and make sure they know we did not try to trick them otherwise. Fabiana, she won't come back in such good shape. Come on, come on. Yeah, what you think? Oh, we let him the fuck up. Ooh, right there, blasted your ass. If we see any painkillers on the wall, even though I got two. We need like an official John Wick uh, game, yo. Speaking of which, begin well. There's hardly a textbook hostage exchange. I guess I must have skipped that class. Okay, come on, let's go. Where the hell's he going? What we got here? Does he have the money? No. But he might be able to tell us what the fuck is going on. Seu filho da puta. O que aconteceu lá embaixo? Quem nos atacou? Quem são os blancos atiradores? Mas... Não estou pra brincadeira, filho da puta. Ai! Quem são? Ai! Quem você nos enganar? I got a feeling they're gonna come right there. Holy shit. Almost died right there. Something tells me we're heading in the right direction. Straight on here, I'll cover you. Wasting time, man. Son of a bitch. Oh my god, did he shotgun me? He shot him in his butt. <laughs> I shot him in his booty. Did he shotgun me that it forced it into slow motion? I hope not because okay, good. No. Because then I, I would have wasted my last painkiller on that shit. It didn't sound like we were the only ones getting shot at. Who the hell had tipped these guys off? 
I didn't know what to think anymore. This town had more smoke and mirrors than a strip club locker room. Crooked ass cop. Yo, this game got you like, it gets you fully fucking emerged, bro. I don't even have time to talk to y'all. Shit is so amazing. Check this out. What are they? A little late to be giving him his last rights, don't you think? Look at this flatjack. This is high end gear. These guys are seriously financed. Yeah, I noticed. I'll get you one for Christmas. Come on, let's keep moving. We've still got a sniper on us. Deal with him first. I only got one shoulder left. There's no time. The money will be long gone. We gotta stay on the guy with the bag. Wait. I might have written the book on dumb ideas, but Passos sure wasn't afraid to quote from it. I tried my very best not to get home. Oh, God. Come on, bro. I tried my best not to get clipped. Okay, come on. Got no more bullets left. Oh my god. Oh nah. It's a failed mission, B. It's a I don't have no more motherfucker, man. I couldn't do nothing. I gotta. All right, so I gotta be smart on my shots, bro. I didn't give a damn about the money. Okay. But I knew what would happen to Fabiana if the wrong people got paid. I didn't pick up the guns or nothing. All right. Come on, man. Come on, man. All right, 
See, that's where I fucked up. I was super impatient. Let me grab this pain painkiller. I needed something to improve my game. Do I grinds? All right, so we start grinding here, right? But I don't, I don't upgrade shit over here, right? Shit, do I upgrade anyone? Yeah. The smell in this place reminded me of how long it had been since I'd had any food. A drinker eats when he's loaded. A real drunk eats when he's not. It was time to introduce our sniping pal to something more intimate and short range. All right, what we got? Shot the fuck out of him, huh? That guy was getting annoying. How the hell did they know about the exchange? This is Sampa, bro. That kind of cash doesn't stay quiet for long. And these kids are like expensive toys. Here, put this on. Have a better chance if we split up. Almost looks like we know what we're doing. Yeah, right. Don't speak too soon, brother. So he's coming from the stands. Shit, they got the guy with the bag. Stay here, cover me. I'll go after him. Hey, keep your head set on. Look, I'll deal with the guys on the other side of the fence. You take the others. Whatever you say. Brother, like, where's the sniper at? Is he not gonna shoot for me? Oh shit. I need to find a way to get more ammo. Cause I got no more ammo for the other gun. I don't even want to keep proceeding. Hold on. Like a VIP lounge or something. I'm gonna check it out. Nervous vai nos matar, hein? Se a gente não voltar com dinheiro, né? Quem é a menina? É alguma alpinista social aí casada com algum cara aqui. Mesma história de sempre. Ah, vou dizer isso aqui! Come on, stick your heads out.
I got no ammo. I hope there's a melee mechanic. There's no way. Yo, Max Payne, y'all never had a melee mechanic? Like, hello? Oh my goodness, bruh. Like Alright, come on. I'm gonna check it out. Let's get it, come on. Yeah, get closer. That's not on me. I'm taking my sweet ass time. I'm not getting caught lacking again. Oh shit, we got a gold gun. We grabbed that painkiller real quick. Lit his ass up. Claudio, they're golden. Sure picked the wrong party on the wrong night. Although if the past week was anything to go by, it was safe to assume any party with the Broncos in attendance was the wrong one to be at. All right. Looks like some kind of maintenance elevator. Where are you headed? I'm going up. I don't know. I'm guessing nowhere nice. Sign of the money? Nope. Just people shooting at me. Our surprise guest brought a lot of friends. All right. I'm in the upper stands. I see you. Be careful, you got company. <laughs> But hold the fuck up. We gotta Come run.
bro, this shit is crazy. It's all clear up here. What about the kid with the money? I don't even. Must be still in this section. Wait. Hang on. What's happening, Passos? There's a whole gang up ahead of my way. I'm almost out of ammo, bro. Make it a run for it. All right. Try to clear you some space. Uh oh. Back in, bro. You gotta be kidding me. Get them off me, bro. Hold the trigger, bro. Are we serious? I'm like, yo, am I missing shots? All right, wait, let me aim. Hello. It wasn't letting me control it. It's not letting me control it right now either. All right. Shoot one at a time. What are you waiting for? Still coming. Other side of the Ooh. Base. Ooh. Look at that bullet. Look at that slow mo. Mm. Wow. Right there, we shot one more time to the head. This is a very trippy. All right, let me control. Would I hit him in the butt? No booty shot. I'm making a run for it. Shit, bitch. Oh, fuck. His head should have blew up. That wasn't fun. <laughs> Listen to me, you head for the chopper. We need to be ready to get the hell out of here. I guess I'll stay on the money. Sounds like a plan. Couldn't be late for a plan, pal. God, God damn it, Max. Shit. Now we got another sniper on me. So let me deal with this guy first. All right, bro. I'm moving too. Stay in touch. This shit got me feeling kind of weird, man. was like Fort Knox. Hey, Passos. Passos. I've got you on the security camera. Where are you? I don't know. Somewhere in this goddamn 
Cap Stadium. Jesus. What's going on there? I think the guys that came to rob us are coming to finish the job. Remind me again, who are these fine gentlemen? Some kind of paramilitaries, I don't know. Paramilitaries? Right-wing guns for hire, ex-cops military, I don't know. They can handle weapons. What's going on now? Guy's pleading for his life. He's saying that Fabiana is being held at the docks of the Chete River. Oh my god. Well, there goes the money. Now we've lost the wife and three million bucks. The boss will be giving us a raise at this rate. Yeah, that's messed up, all right. Come on. We gotta get out of this place. Take care of that guy in the IT tower. I'll meet you at the chopper. I'm gonna make a run for the light rig. I had a hole in my second favorite drinking arm, and the only way we were likely to get Fabiana back now was in installments. Whoever our uninvited guests were, I was about done playing soldiers. Come on, let's get it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on, this shit is tense, boy. Stop playing with me. Yo, my boy, this shit was crazy. Looking back, it was strange how the cops never showed up, but things had a habit of only making sense to me. Looking back, long after I decided to take time to fix them. Oh my God! We trying to change our life around. This is a bad idea. We trying to. Right there in the face. Shot him right there in the leg. Ooh, in the pee pee. Ooh, ooh. I got the best. I know. You know how to make an entrance, bro. Now let's get the hell out of here. Oh, fuck. We're being paid to get the money. Wow. Sure, trouble finds us the same way you found me. Slumped in a bar, drunk on self-pity. I've been sitting at the bar for three hours. We're gonna stop it right here. Listen, I know y'all probably want to see way more of this, but you could just see it's just intense non-stop action with Max Payne. Like this shit is amazing. The first and second game really set the tone. It's a very dark story. And in this game, it still follows him. It still trails the, the you know, his past, that trauma, but in a more, I guess, bright vista world of exploration with a linear story linear world but um you start to see how a little bit of his past starts to seep in max Payne is possibly one of the best characters the voice actor james mccaffrey is phenomenal 
and if you guys would love to see more you gotta request it below but also let me know what you think is the best narrative story coming from rockstar studios in my opinion this is a classic one of the best classics that came out of rockstar in years we have la noir that we're going to be touching base on soon but if you guys enjoyed this please drop your comments below it's your boy 3mg i'm out of here god bless peace